How's it going, Short Kings? It has been a long time, uh, but it's now week 12, and we got Western Kentucky up at the uh, table. As always, the recruiting comes first, and uh, I think we have two guys that have to come off the board, unfortunately. A 69 overall, a Matt Williams is going to Butgers, and Western Kentucky taking the fullback Antoine Copeland. Kind of a shame. A fullback could be nice for us, and, you know, we need to make Western Kentucky pay for this with a, a win this week. With our points at this stage in the recruiting season, you know, we can't add anybody new to the board. We don't have any other short players that we can even look at. So we're just going to go to the bottom of the, uh, the board in terms of our leads here, and we'll throw those points to the uh, guys that we... Just barely have a lead with Michael Hawkins and Ken Jefferson. Uh, kind of good news that only five players we have a deficit in. Um, you know, we want to be signing probably all 25 players every year just to make sure that we can redshirt a bunch of guys and we have as much talent as possible. And we have a couple of guys ready for visits as well. So we'll see. Where should we put Kyle Hunter and Adam McKeon? Uh, Kyle, probably to the only game left that we can schedule him for week 14 against old dominion and adam is going to go to the same game we will have a competitive visit but the complimentary visit will cancel that out and i think that we get that extra xp for the complimentary visit and no extra negatives for the competitive so in the end it works out for us and pretty simple but our recruiting is done for the week we've been having a pretty solid season even though we're at that c uh overall uh, but seven and three, four and two in conference compared to Western Kentucky's three and seven and one and five in conference is going to have Herb Street leaning towards us. Uh, Western Kentucky with a couple of visits this week. We'll try to ruin that. But statistically, we have the edge everywhere except for uh, total offense, rush offense in our overall. Surprisingly, Western Kentucky only has the three wins uh but they're not too bad a five and four pretty mediocre indiana but you know power five team nonetheless a number 16 eight and one southern miss so you know the what is it the golden eagles or something they'd be undefeated if it wasn't for the hilltoppers and then troy who's not great but they beat them pretty handily we'll go ahead and get right into this one uh you see the four overall difference uh you know, holding steady on offense and defense. I think that we can do okay, but let's just uh, hope for the best, I guess. It's a bit of a bummer for Western Kentucky, but Furby <laughs> is uh, their best player, and he's currently injured. I don't know how bad it is. He's questionable with the bruised shoulder, uh, but a left end out for the season with a torn acl so we do have the advantage in the injury department and we'll see if furby can play but we're gonna hope that uh, maybe irby has a better game than him and see if we can come out of kentucky with a, a nice win currently in the conference we are two games behind fiu so we need to win out and we need them to start losing uh, western kentucky at the bottom of the division but if we have any hopes of a conference title, we need uh, Florida International to start losing a bunch. Tails hopefully won't fail, but it does. And uh, we're going to be starting with the ball instead of our preference of being able to uh, kick off. But we'll make our adjustments and we'll get this one underway. Being back to return, taking it out of the end zone. Uh, that was a mistake. You know, over on Twitch, we've been playing with uh, the Gorge University Sharks, and the return man is a lot quicker there. I got to get used to uh, the skill level here with the Dwarves. Noel up the middle on first down. Actually has a pretty solid hole and finds basically the full 10 yards there. Uh, that'll do. We're going to see if we can just be dominant on the ground in this game and uh Irby comes in and picks up four yards himself with a new set of downs at the 29 we're gonna go to the air on a play action man open it was g2 yes richie missed it by so much 
Oh, that's that's a shame. Second down, I'm hoping for positive yards on the run here. There is some blocking and Talib up the middle. Got it all. That's that's big running so far. Two carries for 20 yards for him right now. We're going to try and feed to leave this game and this is a runoff tackle cutting it back somehow avoiding the tackle and uh getting five yards there going to the air again we have Irby open and that's another first down so moving the ball pretty well as we get across midfield to leave on the counter picks up a block has some space makes the safety kind of hesitate for a second and gets nine more he's dominating right now this is a wonderful opening drive to the game as we hand it to Talib again, and there's plenty of running room. The offensive line is just asserting their dominance. Looking for the play action pass on first down. They're bringing a blitz. I'm going to get outside the pocket. We got a man coming across. It was Kevin McMillan, and Richie just missed him again. So Richie has had three open wide receivers, but has only managed to find one. So... Uh, that needs to be fixed, and here goes Irby for a solid four. Makes it a third manageable. I don't want to settle for a field goal here, though. Go into the air on third down. We'll see what we can find. Tough throw. I didn't. Oh, I, it wasn't a good decision anyways, but Rishi missed him. One of four through the air. It's fourth and six. We have the wind almost at our back. This is a real stretch, a 46-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up. It's good if it has the distance, and it does. Uh, you know, we could have gone for it, but I I want the points as that Southern Miss team that uh, Western Kentucky beats UTSA to move to 9-1. and one. We'll run the uh, two-man under at the start of this game, and ooh, a little tackle there at the line of scrimmage forces the second down. They're going to go into the hurry up, though. I'm not a huge fan of these teams that run the hurry up against this quarterback scrambling breaks a tackle almost breaks another one from uh, from us but thankfully only gets a yard and it's a big third and eight they're gonna go to the air it's a screen I was not paying attention Lester's there to knock him out of bounds though that was fantastic open field coverage and it's fourth and three Try to get back to the running game after the success of the first drive and Talib just is racking it up right now. Eight more yards, almost 50 on only six carries. And if they're gonna struggle to stop this running game, then you better believe we're gonna just hang our hats on it and, and just absolutely let Talib carry the load. We will pass on this first down though, trying to let uh, Richie get into a groove. He has an easy short throw to Howard Flanagan and he finds him. And we want to get him into a rhythm, see if we can uh, find something to work for us as uh, Tlaib only gets two yards and brings up a third and five. Definitely not in field goal range here. Go into the air here on third down, a wide open Carpenter. And Richie missed again. Oh, it's so painful, fourth and five. We are going to get risky here near the end of the first and go for a, a read option on fourth and five. It could be disastrous. The blocking is just enough there though Richie just barely got that that's going to allow us to keep the drive alive and we can continue to let uh the running game do some work because very clearly we can't pass right now I really want to be able to air one out deep but I just don't think we're going to be able to find a man open so let's scramble with Richie let him pick up some of it and get out of bounds here with a third and inches so far, we are 0 for 2 on third downs. Final play of the quarter. Talib's got it. So at the end of one, we have the lead. We are in position to at least get another field goal here. Um, and we're going to start burning the clock. I mean, I feel like this team benefits from uh, a shorter game. And that's what we're going to look for. Keep their defense on the field as long as possible and keep our defense off the field because I do think they're a liability as Irby picks up nine yards to start the second quarter. Could be a risky play here. We're going with the option. Irby gets the pitch. Ooh, a risky one, but we get enough for the first down. So still moving the ball, just finding ways to do it. Open. Howard Flanagan picks up a block. That play actually worked really well. I think the pass might have been thrown behind it, but allowed him to get the block. 
sets us up with this first and goal and man they are stacked up in the box we're gonna audible out of this let's see what the quick play is let's see if we can find somebody open and uh hope for the best here pressure coming richie running for his life i think that we are yeah we're gonna outrun the man oh my gosh so close to a sack but we get the four yard touchdown run with richie and we're gonna extend this to his two score lead the man coverage seemed to work pretty well the first drive just uh we need to see if we can do it again giving up six yards on that first down carry isn't great and we're gonna bring a blitz here on second down it looks like our handoff we're there with devin marks and that's gonna be a big loss Ooh, good time to dial up third and long here we know that they're gonna go to the air here or we can almost assume the question is can we do anything it's another screen quarterback gets sacked since when does the screen go that poorly for the offense it's fourth and 19 and he just forgot to throw the ball i think i have no expectations of getting this but this close to the back of the end zone we're gonna bring some pressure and see if we can't manage to uh block the kick oh i feel like we got awfully close g nunez fielding it at the 50. can he make somebody miss and maybe get us a good return yes so far but there's a penalty on the play this is going to be a clipping and it's probably going to go back to midfield Personal foul. Clipping. you hate to see it Declined. They declined it? In a bizarre turn of events, the AI declined that. I wonder if it happened so far up the field, so close to the end zone, that maybe it, the penalty would have put us closer to the goal line? Regardless, I don't think I'm going to complain about it. We'll go to the air here and throw... A dart to the back of the end zone that Gene Nunez holds on to through the contact. It's another touchdown, and the Dwarves have opened up a three-score, 17-0 lead. What a catch. If we're lucky here, Western Kentucky will start to feel a bit desperate. They go with a screen. Man, breaks the tackle, though. That could have been a good loss of yards, but uh, it's, you know, just back to the line of scrimmage. And our coverage seems to be working really well against them. Maybe maybe they need to be looking away from the screen. Uh, but regardless, I think we're in an okay spot. Second and ten. And <laughs> they go back to the screen. Oh, we almost got there. It's a tackle for a loss, and it's another third and long. Their quarterback might be three of three through the air, but uh, I question all of their decisions here. Uh, until there, I just got absolutely embarrassed. I kind of stopped paying attention to who I was supposed to be covering. Allows an absolutely easy throw to the, uh, the big boy tight end. And they're going to go back to the same play. And quarterback's got to throw that one away. So obviously our defense is there. It's just my user that killed us that time. Bring in a little bit of pressure this time. Oh, I just got dusted on the double move. It's embarrassing. Western Kentucky now across midfield and easily into scoring position. I haven't been burned that bad in quite a while. And look at that, another double move. Uh, thankfully, it wasn't me getting cooked that time, but oh man, they are moving the ball real quick now. Some saving grace with the, the uh, game clock right now is that uh, Western Kentucky had to take a timeout. And I think our defense needed that pretty desperately. Quarterback scrambling slides down to avoid the hit. Second time taken, and it's uh, second and eight. At this point, inside the 10, we're going to start taking some of our timeouts, I think, just to make sure that we have more clock available to us if they score, and they scored right away. So uh, he chose a really good time to scramble there. Western Kentucky finally on the board. A very good drive, but you know it's still a two-score lead in our favor. Uh, what's going on? Camera off to the side for the point after. We don't even get to see it. And I guess they made it pretty easily. Good glitch from the game there. And unfortunately for us, we have to go a long ways 
with uh, a Richie Kirk who's really only made one good throw. Starting to warm up, but we need him to be on the money here. There's a man open. Howard Flanagan doesn't even raise his hands and it bounces off of his chest. That is absolutely brutal, abysmal receiving from Howard there. We're gonna go with a four vert and see maybe if uh, somebody's got the legs, we're throwing it up for Gene, but the ball's a massively underthrown as uh, I should expect and there's the interception. Yeah, is it all gonna fall apart here at the end of the half? Leave it to me to screw up uh, a good thing as uh, this looks like it's going to be an easy first down throw about to midfield. No, they're saying he was out of bounds. I was gonna say I would be surprised if this one didn't go under review. Fairly certain they're gonna overturn this. It'll be considered a catch and they'll have a first down at about midfield. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Yep. They're kind of cooking us up right now, so we're going to uh, see if we can do anything in the zone. Quarterback really having a good time scrambling. Uh, it's frustrating. Two man under with a D tackle as the spy, and that'll shut down any, any sort of scramble, especially because this quarterback's not too quick. Unfortunately, it does give us only a uh, three-man rush, but yeah, look at how slow this quarterback is and how quick he is to scramble every time. We might have just uh, made the right adjustment. Third and eight, just got to get the stop here. It's not a slip screen. And right over the top, they find Quinn... Uh, I can't say that. <laughs> they find Quinn uh, only one incompletion for the quarterback and they're inside the red zone. This is a bit of a struggle right here. Oh, how is he going to make that completion? 11, 10, 9 seconds left. They're going to have time for one more play here. They m will most likely get it off. And they will. So final play of the half here. Just got to kind of defend the end zone and we can't do it. Mmm, what a dot. If we just weren't so short. End of the half. Goes from a three score lead in our favor to three points and they get the ball. So, oh, we started so strong, but the defense couldn't hold on and uh, Richie can't throw to save his life right now. This could be a lot better. If the defense fails to come out here to start the third quarter and get a stomp, we are definitely going to be in trouble. We opened up a 17-0 lead and they've scored 14 unanswered and they are getting such good kick returns all day long. It's time out to the 35. You know, I should have just gone with the tactical pass interference on that play to prevent them from... Uh, Scoring it would have given them an untimed down, but it wouldn't have been so guaranteed and now their running game starting to pick up We're gonna bring the pressure If they're gonna dial up the run we're gonna dial up the blitz and uh, we can maybe slow them down and force them Back into the air, which has typically been okay for us Anything that we can do to get this quarterback scrambling I think is in our best interest They go with the screen again and we stomp him short of the first down, so another third down to go, but we just need the stop here. Kind of expecting a run here on third and four. It will be a pass, and right over the middle, the slant was open. Kellen Towner, the one who scored that touchdown and is having a good day returning. Feeling it right now, getting open all over the place. And uh, we need to stop this passing attack in a hurry. Kind of expecting a good throw here. I almost got burned on the double route. Quarterback goes into the scramble. I think he would have had a man open. We have him in another third down. Uh, we could hold this to a tie game. I assume they would kick the field goal. The problem is we have to actually hold them. And my coverage has been pretty sus. In the man. And there's the pick. <laughs> Not at all expected. We get the interception ties up the turnover battle and it's only the second incompletion from this quarterback so the defense holds and it's finally time for our uh, offense to get back out on the field after what feels like a long time and oh well he's he's still in the groove 12 more yards there no reason not to continue running the ball here 
Uh, lean on the shoulders of the stronger part of the offense on the day. Only a yard on that one, but he's up to 13 carries for 82 yards. See if there's anything doing through the air. Second and nine. I just needed to wait a, a second. Linebacker coming across. Gets a massive pick. Richie just laid him out. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of frustration coming out on that tackle, but I just gave the ball right back to him. Foolish mistake. Maybe we can force them into another mistake of their own. First down, they're putting it on the ground, and that's a broken tackle and almost a first down for Quentin Baker. Bringing pressure on second and inches. If this is a play action, I get burned. It's an option. I went to take out Baker. I Nobody else was there to take out the quarterback, so QB is able to take it for 10 yards. It's first and goal. Definitely frustrating. And on this first and goal, expecting the quarterback to take off. Instead, he throws it right past me, right as I start moving in the opposite direction. Oh, there goes the lead. 21 unanswered for Western Kentucky. And uh, now we find ourselves in the hole. All right, I got to bring this one out with Gene, see if we can get a miracle return. Uh, I think the defense still can make some stops. They just need a little bit more help. And Nunez, okay. Helping out the offense with a 57-yard kick return. 3-12 left in the third quarter. Um, we need to get things going. Talib breaking a tackle, picking up six yards. I honestly don't know if we can pass this game at all, so he's going to need to step up even more. See if we can manage to find something. We go to the mid-screen. Gene Nunez has it. And it's only good for three yards. I felt like that maybe had a chance to break off for more, but I can't complain. As dangerous as it may be, we're going with the counter on third and one. And let's just follow our blockers as long as possible. And the Talib with the burst of speed picks up 10. Trying the read option on this first down. We'll see if we can get uh, Richie involved. He makes a man miss. He stays on his feet. You know, I slid down for the first. I think we could have had maybe a touchdown there. He was playing dodge ups. Talib on this one. Nice gap, stumbling forward. Six yards, getting close to that end zone, but also getting close to the fourth quarter. On second and four, Tlaib. Oh no, it's Irby coming in. A little cut back there. I think Tlaib might have might have looked a little bit better, but Irby gets us a couple of yards and leaves us a third and short. And uh, they're not stacking the box as much as I would expect. Uh, only two down linemen here. Is Irby's going to get the call up the middle? The blocking is just good enough, and he gets into the end zone. We retake the lead off the six yard Donald Irby touchdown run. Minute to go in the third quarter. Defense has to find another stop. Tempted to dial up the blitz here, but uh, I don't think we've quite been at that point yet. They do hand it off and my goodness, these guys make such great adjustments like behind the line of scrimmage. It's impressive. Well, we're gonna go into the man QB spot. Just leave one safety and uh, See if we can't stop the passing attack that way. And you know, I don't know why they're going to these screens because they're not working. That time it's a loss of three. Second and 13. It's another screen. Powell can't tackle him. Lester brings him down, though, and it's a third and four. Like, how many screens are we going to see this game? Third and four. Probably the last play of the quarter if they pick up the first down. And oh, they do it across midfield as well. No, they're going to get one more playoff. They're going to the air. Uh, we brought the blitz. It got to the quarterback quick, and that's good because once again, I got dusted on my coverage. And we just brought the blitz, but we're doing it again. No safety. So if we get beat deep, we get beat deep. Quarterback releases it. Rick Penn just got burned, but we don't give up the first down. So as we head into the fourth quarter here, we're going to have a third and one to defend. If we can get the stop, I feel confident here in the fourth quarter. Otherwise, we're definitely... Still very much in danger. Bringing pressure on third and one. Expecting the, the run. It is a handoff. We're there. And it's fourth and five. And this is awfully close to midfield. That would be a ridiculously long field goal. Although I think with a slight wind at their back. Oh no. And they're going to go for it. This is actually what I didn't want to see. Fourth and five. Maybe it's a screen. And it's a wide open man for the first down. Oh, if we would have stopped him maybe a yard short, they would have kicked it. But 
unfortunately we just get burned and uh another first down i got stuck on the block and the draw play goes for 12. what is it about this dynasty in close games i will never understand three point lead for us here with five and a half minutes to play and the running game is there but uh quentin baker who i think is already their backup running back little injury there that's gonna take him out of the play for uh a little bit i would imagine they go to the third stringer and we just couldn't quite tackle him that felt all too easy into the end zone and so uh, once again we are uh, now at a deficit all righty gene i'm bringing this out i know it's dangerous but we're bringing it out with gene because a good return could be the difference between a game win and a game loss and you know <laughs> it wasn't worth it it's a 33 yard return but we're just past the 25. so maybe a long final drive for us donald irby in to take the first snap and picking up a solid five yards there i am tempted to try to burn the clock here it's awfully risky but it could just happen to be the, the perfect play call to leave getting north here. Maybe maybe we just break off a long one. <laughs> it's a good first down, though. I'm going to take any reason to avoid passing, so it's another handoff on this first down, and Tlaib can get a few more yards. Uh, I don't know if it you guys saw it pop up or what. It is confirmed that the Western Kentucky running back who started the game is now out for the rest of the game. As we're going to go with a little bit of their specialty, a slip screen. And Tlaib, well, he got positive yards, but I was hoping for a whole lot more than that. Third and three, four down territory. Irby getting the call. The blocking, oh, is it there? 71 just whiffed on the block that would have secured such an easy first down, but it's fourth and one. This could be the game. We're going with the QB sneak on fourth and one. Richie got it. He just has to hold on to the football. He dropped it. We're able to pick it back up. Oh my gosh, why? I almost jinxed it. So incredibly lucky. Uh, we keep the ball though across midfield and now less than three minutes to play to leave great run gets another first down that'll stop the clock with 244 to go with the position that we're in a touchdown makes it so that western kentucky would only need a uh, field goal to tie it up and send it to overtime unfortunately a field goal doesn't get us to overtime uh, ourselves though 2.16 to go. We're calling the play that we threw an interception on earlier, except this time we're going to roll outside the pocket. We're going to extend it as long as we can. And you know what? We're, we're going to scramble with Richie and get out of bounds. 2.07 to go. Two minutes to go just outside the red zone. We're going to try a draw play. Irby loses two yards on it. And uh, we're going to have to hurry up here, I think. Try to get a quick playoff because we don't want the clock to run out on us. Again, got to look for easy and safe passes with the way that Richie's thrown, and that's a good safe one. Eight yards to Gene Nunez. It's third and four, a minute and 20 to go. And this might be risky, but we're going to go with a slip screen to Tlaib Noel. If he can cut it north, does he have it? No, he's just shy, fourth and one. I got to take the time out here. Game on the line. We're going to the air, but my intention is to scramble here. Richie has a lot of space to work with. Slides down inside the five with a minute and eight to go. And now we're going to try to burn the clock even more because we don't want to give the Hilltoppers any time to work with. So let's just let the clock burn down. We still have two timeouts, uh, but we can't gain any more downs. So there's no point in having much more clock. Just burn it down, and then we'll see what Talib can do here. First and goal from the four. Up the middle. He got a little bit. Not enough. One yard there. With the hurry up. Make sure I want to keep Talib in is the big thing. And uh, we're going to go halfback smash on this one. See if maybe we can bounce it out to the edge. Second and goal. Talib. Bounces it towards the edge. It gets into the end zone. A three-yard touchdown run. <laughs> Pending the extra point, it's going to be a three-point game with 23 seconds to go. This game has been too close. We're going to give Jolly the 
go ahead to boot this one deep into the uh, field here. I was going to say the end zone, but he doesn't have the leg for that, so it will be returnable. And, man, it made them burn a couple seconds, but they got decent field position, which is never good. Two man under, no blitzes coming from us on this drive. We know that they're going to be going to the air. What can we do about it? It's a screen on the first attempt. It's foolish. They're going to be forced to take a timeout. They lost a yard and they burned, what, four seconds of their clock? Absolutely foolish of them to do that. They're going to go five wide. We're going to go into the man up three deep and just kind of play some prevent now. Because uh, we could force something like that. You know, 10 seconds left. They don't get the first down, so they're forced to take their second timeout. And at this point, it feels like it's almost over. I don't see. They're going to need a big play here to get into field goal range. And they got it. Oh, no. Five seconds left. I tried to go for the pick. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I tried to get a ball hawk it. And instead, it's Western Kentucky kicking a field goal to send this one to overtime. And as seems to be the case with every single uh, team that we play, they have anti-freeze, so that's not going to work. The kick is up, and that looked way too good. One second on the clock. The only hope for us to win this without going to overtime is going to be a Gene Nunez kick return. We've seen it before. Can we see it again? As long as this isn't too deep into the end zone. Oh, this is doable. Gene just needs the right blocking. And he's got the start of it. Oh, the diving tackle. Oh, he was so close to being in open space. End of the fourth quarter comes. We're all tied up and it's into overtime. <laughs> Dang. Let's go with Tails. It failed us the first time. It's going to fail us the second time on the coin toss. So we're starting on offense and, you know, might not be the worst thing. Let's just see if the running game wants to work well here. And we can just uh, get into the end zone, give the defenses uh, two chances in a row. That's the hope, at least. Irby, great first down carry. I don't want to pass too much, but sometimes we'll have to. We're trying the mid-screen on this one. We find Khalif James, and he's got the first down. That mid-screen is uh, quickly becoming one of my favorite screens in the game. Another first down for the offense. Tlaib getting a carry up the middle. And that was great. Inside the five, eight yards on first down. Sets us up with a second and two. We can score a touchdown here for sure. Box not really stacked. Safety's pretty far out. So yeah, another handoff up the middle is going to be prescribed for Tlaib. That's bad user from me. I ran into the blockers. I think I had just my original gap open enough to get the first down. But I tried to get a little cheeky with it. And on third and one, we're going with the Richie Kirk. Sneak again. We could be doing this twice in a row. Richie. Got it. And a little bit more. Three yards there. We're just going to go right back to the same play and see if Richie can get into the end zone. How many times have we seen our quarterbacks flying over the pile to get into the end zone? This time in overtime, Richie diving up and in. Touchdown, Dwarves. See if the D can win it for us. They started so strong, allowing us to open up that 17-0 lead and then kind of fell apart before finding their legs again. Do they have enough left in the tank, though, to end this game in single overtime? It's a slip screen. First play from scrimmage for these guys. Frederick with a massive hit. It's a loss of five. Second and 15. We can almost guarantee that they're going to go to the air here. So the question is, what can we do to cover it? No, it's another screen. They're fools, except he got away this time and he got positive yards. We almost dropped him for another loss. Got the five back, third and long, two plays to stay alive here. Man coverage has been working so well so far this game. No reason to go away from it. They go to the air. Oh, quarterback was getting hit. We had a chance of the picks. Ball swatted away in the back of the end zone. And with that, the game is on the line here. Fourth and 10. They need a first down to have a chance at winning. Frederick gets the tackle in open space. And that's it. Over in overtime. The Dwarves win another close one. We advance to 8-3 and three on the season. And we're able to leave the state of Kentucky with a win. Only... 
What, one game to play? Is it that old Dominion game? game this season's gone fast in terms of it feels like we haven't played that many games, but oh, it's been a struggle in almost all of them. Uh, I, this, yeah, this game was all over the place in momentum. We started early just dominating, looking like this was going to be a blowout, and then in uh, typical fashion, kind of start to choke midway through. Found our footing late, and we were able to have a nice drive near the end of the uh, the game to make sure that we were in a position to go to overtime. We end the game with 240 rushing yards, which I feel like is a lot for this team. Uh, only put up 65 through the air, had those two turnovers, but uh, I think our defense did okay. Only given up 222 and 104 through the air. And uh, how about Talib Noel, our offensive player of the game? 24 carries for 150 yards and a clutch touchdown. Should have had more touchdowns, but, you know, uh, that's fine. Uh, I don't expect our running backs to get this many yards, and, and he did a very good job. Irby as well. Let's go ahead and advance the week here. Eight and three. See if maybe we can get into the top 25. We're going into a bye week, and then we have Old Dominion. Uh, before our other bye week. You never know. I, I feel like we are close to getting right. And how about that? Uh, nobody recruits to anywhere else. We get Alex Daniels and Derek Benson committed. Uh, a couple guys ready to visit. I'm feeling good right now about, uh, you know, the state of our recruiting. It could be better, but seven players committed, and I think that number is just going to continue to increase. Again, a bunch of XP. But do we have the ranking heading into week 13 and the bye? We don't. Eight and three. We'll take a quick look at ESPN's top 25 to see what's going on. Because we have to at least be getting some votes, right? Washington takes over the number one spot, jumping Ohio State after they crush uh, Oregon State. They play the Ducks this week and Oregon's not having a good time. Kind of an interesting top 10 there. Bama, Notre Dame, 11 and 12. Oklahoma, 13. There's that Southern Miss squad. You know, I'm not sure how many of these teams we would be better than, but they have us nowhere. Not even receiving votes. How about the media poll? Any love? Well, maybe I read it wrong because we are getting votes here. Just a few places off. How about the BCS poll? The one that really matters near the end of the season. No love for us, but the uh, the rivals, Western Arizona, the tall boys. Getting into that top 24, 10-1 on the season. I expect them to do pretty well. And as our final teaser here at the end of this episode, what bowl are they thinking that we're going to? 8-3, and three, a very good chance to go 9-3 and three in the regular season. They're saying right now, Armed Forces Bowl against Fresno State. A 5-5 five and five Fresno State. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think that we could belong in maybe a little bit higher tier bowl game, but let's just let things shape out and uh, we'll assume that we're going to get a little bit of respect. Currently, BCS National Championship slated to be between Washington and Ohio State. Very curious to see how that goes. That's going to do it for us this week, though. Uh... We'll get through the bye week and, and hopefully our final game of the regular season in the next one. And, uh, you know, if you want to see some more NCAA 14 content or, you know, other games, we've recently uploaded some PGA Tour, uh, all sorts of sports stuff. Head on over to the Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster and uh, we'll be live waiting for you. Regardless, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want, but otherwise, no worries. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.